Many of us experience a common scenario where you are using one version of SOLIDWORKS and you would like to collaborate with a user using another version of SOLIDWORKS. Certainly files saved in an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS can be opened in a later version of SOLIDWORKS, but files saved in the later version of SOLIDWORKS cannot be saved to an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS. Until now, in SOLIDWORKS 2024, we have implemented previous release compatibility. This allows you to save your SOLIDWORKS 2024 file so that it can be opened as a full featured model in SOLIDWORKS 2023 or SOLIDWORKS 2022. This applies to SOLIDWORKS 3D Experience Connected, SOLIDWORKS Desktop running the 3D Experience add-in, and of course, SOLIDWORKS Desktop. For a vast majority of models, previous release compatibility is very simple. Here we're starting in SOLIDWORKS 2024. We'll go Save As, and I can select either SOLIDWORKS 2022 or SOLIDWORKS 2023. In this case, I'll save it to a SOLIDWORKS 2023 file. I'll rename it to be SOLIDWORKS 2023 part. So now if I switch to SOLIDWORKS 2023, here I see that part that I just saved. And it opens with all the features, virtually the same model as what we had in SOLIDWORKS 2024. As I said, for the vast majority of models, this will be the workflow that you follow when you save a model from SOLIDWORKS 2024 to either 2023 or SOLIDWORKS 2022. However, previous release compatibility does require that you remove any incompatible features from the model before saving to a previous release. As an example, let me add two features that are new in SOLIDWORKS 2024 and therefore not compatible with SOLIDWORKS 2023 or 2022. The first is a cylindrical bounding box. So here we can see that we have a cylindrical bounding box. The next item we'll add is actually new in SOLIDWORKS 2023 and therefore not supported in SOLIDWORKS 2022. That is the ability to drive the dimension of a move copy body feature using an equation. So here we'll just enter two and then I'm going to come in here. I'll modify that dimension and I will create an equation setting it equal to, let's say the offset of that reference plane. So we rebuild the model, we see that it's moved and we have the dimension of the move copy body feature driven by an equation. So if we come here and we now try to save as this time SOLIDWORKS 2022, let me change the name of that to be 2022 we see the previous release check dialog. The previous release check dialog is divided into two lists. This first list of incompatible items are items that the user must address before they save to a previous release. This second list, this other items list, are items within the model that will not be saved when saving to the previous release. So in this example, we can see that that equation driving the move copy body feature will not be saved when we save to SOLIDWORKS 2022. However, in order to save to SOLIDWORKS 2022, we must first address this circular bounding box feature. This dialog can remain open while we come here and we could delete the bounding box or simply changing it to rectangular would remove that incompatible item. And so we're left with this other item. And again, this is something that will not be saved when we save to SOLIDWORKS 2022. One note is this dialog can be brought up anytime coming uh, here to tools evaluate. And again, we see that it's warning us of this item that will not be saved when we save to 2022. And now that we've addressed the incompatible item, we can proceed. And again, I will name this 2022 part. And we see that we can come to SOLIDWORKS 2022. We see the rectangular bounding box and we see the move copy body feature is not driven by an equation because that information was not saved when saving to SOLIDWORKS 2022. Thank you for watching this video on previous release compatibility, which is new in SOLIDWORKS 2024.